A number of years ago, I was lucky enough to get my hands on a white label Kamaka. This is probably from the mid 1970s. It is a pure koa wood tenor, and it sounds great even with two strings. And if you're like me, you not only appreciate well-made ukuleles, and you love a great deal, 400 bucks with the hard case, thank you very much. But with deals sometimes come uh, the need for repairs. This ukulele was pretty well maintained, but it has some issues up here. The head area, the tuners were a little funky. Now when I got it, it had uh, regular peg style tuners, but they were not the originals. And I had those replaced, come down and look at the overhead here. I had them replaced at one time. I had this ukulele went, gone over by a luthier and he added these. And you can see I'm in the middle of a project. I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, he added these tuners, which are fine. Um, but they're, they're guitar style tuners and they're kind of heavy. Sorry about the out of focus. I can only focus on one thing at a time. And so what I'm doing is I'm replacing them with these tuners. And these are the Graftech. Um, don't ask me what they're made out of. They're super light. I want to say some sort of something that has the word graphite in it or graph, I don't know, graphene? Who knows? But the reason um, I'm doing this is to make the ukulele lighter and also return it to a little bit more of the traditional look, even though, of course, at the time they weren't using solid flat black tuners. But I believe this ukulele did have uh, tuners that were, uh, you know, back to front, like peg style tuners. So that's one reason is for the look, but the main reason is for the weight. Um, believe it or not, you feel this much hardware on the, on the head, on the end of the neck when you're play, holding the ukulele, playing the ukulele. I feel like it's going to be a big improvement just with the feel of the ukulele. And also they're just lighter, so they're probably less intrusive, less you know, dampening on the instrument, which by the way, sounds amazing. This is my favorite ukulele, but it's not really, it hasn't been my favorite because I wasn't happy with the tuner situation. So let's go back to the overhead. I want to show you what's going on with these tuners and why they're going to be, I think, a big improvement. Now I talked about the weight, but let me show you. Let's turn this on. This is my kitchen scale. Not, and I don't use it for anything else, even though it might look like it. Um, we're gonna weigh one of these. This is, this is all the hardware for one tuner. The tuning mechanism, the bezel or sleeve, and the, and the screws. That's 32 grams. 32, remember that. Let's weigh one of the Graftex. with the other parts, same parts. Six. Six. <laughs> 32 and six. And that difference, you're also, which is, if my math is correct, uh, 26 lighter, um, but multiple that, multiply that by four. So over 100 grams lighter switching over to the graph tech. So that's, that's quite a bit. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to the scale right now. I'm gonna show you how I'm doing this, what I'm doing. So if you're thinking about swapping out your tuners, you, this video should help you. Now, first I wanna go over some of the tools that I'm using. And let's go back to the overhead. I wanna focus down here for a second. So um, one of the tools is a pen. And I'm only using this to uh, push the head out. And we'll, we're gonna go through the process in a second, but I was using this to push the old bezel out. There's two parts to these. See, there's the tuning, the tuning mechanism, uh, and then this bezel or sleeve, which is on the top, right? So we'll get to that in a second. You'll also wanna have a little screwdriver for the little tiny screws, right? You might want to have some wire clippers to cut your strings off. You don't need that. You can just unwind them. You will need probably a rat tail file to uh, adjust the size of the tuning hole. 
And then in addition to those, and of course the, the actual tuners, which are over here, um, in addition to that, I've got a little kind of, um, it's almost like a pipe cleaner tool or a little tube cleaner uh, made of brass. This is just to clean out any debris that's in the holes. That's optional. Uh, I've got a pair of pliers that I will use to push the bezel into place. That's also optional. Of course, I don't use it directly on the wood. <laughs> Always put something in between. Um, I've got some drill bits. And I've, I've, I'm going to use these to make sure that I get to the right size hole because I have to enlarge these holes a little bit. And then I'm using some of this fill stick. And um, this is a wood repair stick. And it's made by Verithene. Verithene, you can see the details right here. And what this is, is it's almost like a giant crayon, actually. It's sort of a waxy material, and this I just wiped into the holes. Now, I want to bring your attention right down here. And you can see that there's a little bit of discoloration here. The back of this head was a mess before I bought this, so this is actually an improvement to what it was when I bought it. But there was a hole. You see this over here? This one... Uh, it matched over here, right? So it was just like this. And so there was a screw hole right here. And I filled that already with this fill stick. And I, just, I went to Home Depot and I got the color that's closest to the ukulele. It's not perfect. But you can see there, that's not bad. I mean, this area I haven't done. I haven't done any of this. But I did do this area right here. So I'm kind of impressed with the fill stick. Um, and then other than that, I have a drill. Uh, you might use a manual drill. You may not need a drill. The whole size, and so we're gonna get to, we're gonna get to do it. I'm gonna do one right now uh, with you, watching over my shoulder. The, the hole for the uh, sleeve or bezel is eight millimeters. And when I took these off, let's, let's get started and I'll just start working on this one as I'm talking. Um, when I took, the metal ones out, I did measure them. So another tool you might want to have is a caliper like this so you can measure things. Um, the, metal, the metal ones were a little smaller than the, the ones for the GraphTech. So the, these are the, this is the one I took out and this is the one that, that's going in. And these are a little bigger, about a millimeter bigger. So you have to, um, you may, you, you may not have to, but you may very well need to um, increase the size of the hole. And that's probably the only thing that you need to do during this entire process. I don't think there's anything else you would have to do except to do what we're going to see in a, right now, which is to probably fill these holes. Look at this one. It's like a crater over here. Um, so we're going to get to see this fill stick in action. So I'm going to remove that. Now, on the other side, you have this bezel. And you can try to just push it out with something. I, at first I tried, it might, you know, pop out with a screwdriver. Just be careful, of course. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to use that. What I found is that if I use the top of this pen, and this is good because it's plastic, I could push this in. And I, I do have to use a little bit of pressure, but that... Uh, pushes it out enough so I can just grab it and pull it out. Now that's out of the way, and we're going to inspect this, of course. Now this is an old ukulele. This is 40 plus years old, probably, so you want to be careful. I'm, I'm really conscientious of not changing the instrument too much, but I want to fix it, and I want to make it playable um, and enjoyable. So let's just move forward here, and I'm going to try to make the whole... First, I'm going to make this whole the right size, and let me see if I can just gently, yeah, fit, so I can fit that drill. Now can I fit this one? I can kind of, but, and I'm just going to turn this by hand. I know it's not the best view, let me see. I'm just going to turn this by hand, run that through a little bit, and, uh, I got some material out of there. It looks like somebody actually may have put some paper in there to make it a little tighter at one point. 
Um, the the uh, bezels do go in from the top, and they don't go all the way through, so you don't have to drill all the way through, um, but you probably will end up drilling all the way through. Now, you want to be really careful whenever you're drilling anything. I'm going to run this one through a little. And this drill, by the way, let me see, is a uh, 11 30 seconds. So this is the one that if I if I can get this going through here, and maybe that's enough right now, let's see. I don't have to go all the way through. 11 30 seconds is the size, or you know, if you have an eight millimeter, that might work too. Um, but that will fit, right? So now this will go in. But I want it to seat, ooh, that's pretty tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill it all the way through. And just bear with me for a second. I'm gonna go from the back, carefully, and just open that up a little more. And then I'm gonna take my little cleaning tool, just run this through a little to get any debris out. And I've made a big mess, but that's okay. Now, I want to use the uh, fill stick, and I want to show you guys, and I'm, I know it's not super close up, but it's as close as I can get it. Let me just do this. Let's give you a close up for one second. Now you can see the hole there. I don't know what was going on here, but that's a pretty big hole. I want to fill these two holes and fill that. So let's do it. Why not? You gotta love manual focus. All right. So let's, we're just gonna take this, and this is not a commercial for fill stick. I just wanna show you what I'm doing here. Um, but it is kind of a waxy substance, and you're just gonna push it in. Get a, get a little going. It's, it's basically like a crayon. It feels like a crayon. So it might bring back some memories for some of you. And then what I have is this, which is like a putty, it's like a little putty knife, a plastic or rubber, more like plastic, uh, putty knife. And you just smush it in and go uh, different directions. It might take a few a few passes at this, but you can um, use your fingers. You can use where's my little screwdriver. You can use your screwdriver to to jam it down inside the hole there. Um, now this is not a finish, right? So this is still going to be exposed to the elements. However. Uh, I'm personally not really worried about it because it's on the, the back of the head of the ukulele and um, It just doesn't get you know, it's not gonna get much wear and tear if you wanted to you could put Some varathane over it or I I like shellac because it's natural uh, You can mix up some shellac or just use some canned shellac and put a little shellac on there um, And that might work just fine so what I'm doing is I, I put on, you know, a lot and then I'm scraping off the excess right now. And I'm not going to go crazy because I know we're, you guys are, you know, you want to see the next part of this process. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time. I can come back later and work on this a little more, which I may do, or I may not. But look at that. Um, pretty quick. Just wipe it smooth. It's already blending in really well. So let me um, let me go back up and give you the close up. And this is close. Uh, this is this was really quick, you guys. So let me see. Hang on. Let's get this. All right. Um, is it perfect? No. But it's way better than it was. It's fine. And like I said, I filled this one. I, I haven't done anything over here, over here. 
I'm assuming that that is all going to uh, improve as well over time. So um, what's the next step? Let's go back to the overhead and I have to refocus. This video is all about focusing, isn't it? All right. So we're going to go back to the top now. I've got uh, the, the, the bezel or sleeve. I'm going to push this in. And if it's like the other side, it won't go all the way down on the first crack. It, it needs a little more. Well, see that one, actually, I used some strength, <laughs> some reserve strength, and I pushed it all the way in. So now that's flush, so that's good. If it didn't go in, what you could do is get a pair of pliers, and again, carefully, you open up your pliers all the way, you put something like this on top, then you put another one on the bottom, and then you just sandwich it, boom, right? And you can squeeze that, squeeze that down. But I don't have to do that right now. The rest of this process is pretty quick. You uh, put that right in place, and then you can uh, just just screw the um, screw the screws in. Now I'm not going to do this right now. Um, because I want to get a smaller drill and drill a pilot hole. And I do recommend doing a pilot hole. I, didn't, I did not do a pilot hole on this side, and it's a little crooked. So what I recommend you do is, is hold this or tape it down, tape one side down, and get it lined up, because this just, just swivels. So get it lined up exactly where you want it. Maybe put some tape on there on the sides. Drill one hole, like a pilot hole, just a tiny drill, right? A little tiny skinny one. Skinnier than that, if you can imagine. Or just even use a pin and stick a pin in there and stick another pin on this side without moving the other side. Maybe take a pin and leave it and then come over here and put a pin in. That'll help you uh, get the holes drilled. And then all you're going to do is screw it in, screw this in. And then you have it done on the other side, all right? So pretty easy, and I want to point your attention to, look at that, black, and then it's going to match the nut here, and it's also going to match the bridge, um, or the saddle down here. On this particular ukulele, I have a black saddle and a black nut, and I even had black strings on it before. Um, so I'm excited, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and, ke and keep working on this, and I emailed the people at... Graftech, uh, and by the way, these are Graftech uh, radio, radio tuners, and one of the benefits to having these over your other style tuners is these have a six to one ratio, which means every time you turn the knob, the handle part, one time around, the string only moves one sixth of the way around. Now, why is that good? It means you get a lot of tuning precision, right? The worst thing is like what's on my old, old Martin, which is a one-to-one -one ratio. It's just a peg. It's really hard. If you've ever tuned a peg ukulele or any, other, any instrument that uses straight pegs, it's almost impossible to get it in tune. And then it slips. Super frustrating. So these are geared tuners with a six-to-one ratio. That's really exciting. If you're not sure, if you're not amply excited at this point, Look it up and find out why. But that's another reason I'm really excited to start using these tuners. So you'll see this ukulele in future videos. I'm going to be really excited to bring you some music uh, with this um, white label Kamaka tenor. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you'd like to support this content, just leave a tip or join us on an ongoing basis. Go to patreon.com slash Kalani and you can support this channel. And go visit World Drum Club, my other channel, and Kalani Music. Uh, channel as well. All right. Thanks for watching. Enjoy playing your ukulele. See you soon.